GCK King Circle with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. Hello friends, it is great to be here with you once again on today's episode of the GCK King Circle. My name is Praise and I'll be your host for today. I'm excited to be here too and I gladly welcome all our viewers to the King Circle where royalties are nurtured as God's own global ambassadors. My name is Paul, your co-host. Paul, can you tell me, mm. how do you feel when something new, I mean, something transformational happens in your life? I feel great, Brace. Wow. Free, transformed and redeemed. I am sure you want to experience this too. Striking, I must say. But Paul, how can I be transformed? Worry not. The convener of the GCK King Circle, a mentor of global repute, who has guided thousands of young people and professionals across the world from a place of blue to a brand new life full of glory will be guiding us on how to become transformed. Wow. But before it comes up, join us to listen to this soul lifting worship from our guest gospel singer. This chorus just sings, Oh God, my God, I need you. Lift your voice with me. Oh God, my God, I need you. Oh God, my God, I need you now. How I need you now. Oh rock, oh rock of ages, I'm standing on your faithfulness. On your faithfulness. I was blessed by the worship session. Get your notepad, as it is now time to listen to our mentor. What does it mean when somebody is transformed? Sometimes you put water in the kettle, and then you put that kettle on the fire. And then you begin to heat the bottom of that kettle. And the water there is liquid. And then as a boiling, the water which is liquid becomes vapor. That's transformation. It is no more like liquid water. It is not like vapor like dew. Other times, you take that same water, you put it in a bottle, and now you put it in the fridge. That water that was liquid, very soft and flow, you can pour it away, and then another thing happens now, it becomes what? Eyes, very solid. If you throw that thing on somebody, it can wound the person, because now a transformation has taken place. There is a change, a change in the form. The same thing, when we're talking of transformation, it means you come to the Lord Jesus Christ, you enter into Christ, and Christ enters into you, and there is a change, a transformation. And then, if you are weak before, you are no more weak today in Jesus' name. If you were sinful before, you are no more sinful again in Jesus' name. And if you are fearful and timid before, you are no more fearful and timid in Jesus' name. If you were in the gang before, you are no more in the gang in Jesus' name. If you have been in darkness before, you love the things of darkness, or walk about in darkness, now there's transformation, there's a change. You are not in darkness anymore in Jesus' name. If you never read the Bible before, you didn't love the Bible before, you didn't go to church before, you just hated everything God, everything godliness, everything Bible, but now there's a change. There's a transformation. Now you love the Bible because there is a change. There is a transformation. How does that take place? Changing us from darkness to light. Changing us from transgression to transformation. Removing us from the city of darkness and putting us in the city of life. And changing that fear and timidity and cowardice. And bringing us into boldness and courage and conviction. How does that take place? All we like sheep. Have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, 
and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. That's how the transformation takes place. God takes every sin you ever committed in your life and he takes it away from you and he puts siege on Jesus Christ because Jesus died for you. He took your sins away and that's how that transformation or change takes place and everything is laid on Christ and Christ carries them away. All your sins were laid on him so that you can be transformed, so that you can be changed, so that a new life will come to you. He was wounded for you. He has taken away your sin. He has taken away your evil. And those sins will never be upon you anymore in Jesus' name. You will not be a fornicator anymore. You will not be a liar anymore. You will not be a violent man, a violent boy, girl fighting anymore in Jesus' name. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgressions from us. What the Lord is saying is all your sin, every sin you ever committed, the Lord will remove them away from you and he'll put them so far away as the east is from the west and you will never see them again. That's transformation. That's transformation. Guilt is gone. Condemnation is gone. All the sins are gone. You used to steal. You don't steal anymore because stealing is far away. You used to have fornication. You don't have fornication again because fornication is far away. You used to fight. You are not fighting anymore. Fighting is far away. It's gone. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things a past away behold all things have become new because you take a decision because you take a decision this decision today will get you out of the land of transgression and move you into the land of transformation in jesus name when that transformation has taken place also your sickness will go your failure will go your oppression will go we're going to join the transportation we're going to move out out of transgression and now get ready get ready get ready the, the boss is about to leave transportation is about to leave you're joining now joining now joining now joining now and we're going to the city of transformation father in the name of jesus we thank you because you said whosoever shall come on the name of the lord shall be saved all these young people multitudes will say yes i'm coming in out of darkness into your light out of sin into righteousness receive them in jesus name all the sins they ever committed since they were born at this moment of decision now lord forgive them in jesus name and lord i pray your children will go from strength to strength they'll go from grace to grace power to power and no evil power will be able to stand before you all the days of your life in jesus name i thank you lord because i know you have answered in jesus name we pray amen i am on board to the ride to the city of transformation already i trust you are too yes i am remember be a world changer Christ. We believe that you've been impacted. Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumui will love to hear from you. Please visit our social media platforms and don't forget to join us on the next episode of GCK King Circle.